Hello there. I'm a little concerned for myself. So here's what happened this week. I went online as I do, and I found some questionable looking coffee pods. I purchased said coffee pods. Said coffee pods are actually directly to my left. I also got a machine we can make the pods in, and today we're gonna drink the pods. Now, what I have neglected to mention is that it is not a couple coffee pods. It is not 10 or 15, it is 40 coffee pods. And my hope today is that we can try them all and rank them, and that's the plan. Okay, this is our setup for today. Now, these pods are recyclable, so I have a box in my feet. We're gonna do our due diligence and wash and recycle all of these. But in the meantime, I should probably inform you as to what these strange flavors actually are. So let's just read through all of them. We have Coco Mocha, Dolce de Leche, Mint Chocolate Chip, Ice Cream Sandwich, Oh Fudge, Wild Raspberry, Blueberry Cobbler, Vanilla Spice, Caramel Swirl, Pumpkin Pie, Vanilla Mocha Chunk, Butter Crunch, French Toast, Mystery Flavor. They literally gave us a mystery flavor. My current... <laughs> <laughs> favorite, Sunday Nut Football. We have Red Velvet Cupcake, Vanilla Bean, Pecan Pie, Cheesecake Fantasy, Toasted Cinnamon, Black and White Cookie, Vanilla Swirl, Coconut, Chocolate and Coconut Flavored Coffee, Chocolate Caramel, Vanilla and Butter Toffee, Birthday Cake Remix, not the original, the remix, Brown Sugar Ginger Flavored Gingerbread Man, Maple Slay, that's S-L-E-I-G-H, <laughs> Mint Chocolate Flavored, Rocky Road, Blueberry Pie, Pumpkin Spice, Vanilla Skyline, Coney Island Caramel, Peanut Butter Cup, Hazelnut, Butterscotch Swirl, Maple Walnuts, S'mores, and finally, Peppermint Stick. Okay, so we're gonna be tasting and ranking all of these today on a one to five scale. Five is gonna be the coffee is good and I would willingly choose to drink it again. One is the coffee is just unpalatable, undrinkable. The two main things that are gonna go into this ranking consideration besides just like general enjoyment are gonna be number one, does the coffee actually taste like what it's described as being tasting like? For example, Cheesecake Fantasy, does this coffee actually actually taste like a cheesecake fantasy. And then our second factor is gonna be, is there a good balance between the coffee flavor and the added artificial flavor? So we have 40 coffees and I would like to be done before nightfall, so uh, let's just get started. I wanna give a huge thank you to Vessi for partnering with me on today's video. You've seen me wearing Vessis for quite a while, anywhere from my work to my everyday. Last time I was about to leave for Costa Rica and I mentioned that I was bringing a few pairs of my Vessis with me. Their weekend model remains one of my all time favorite shoes for walking and because they're 100% waterproof, it didn't matter what sort of terrain I was gonna be on. Costa Rica was quite rainy while we were there and initially I was worried about taking a spill while doing activities, but they handled everything from dirt to waterbeds to even hanging bridges. The lightweight Dymatex knit material was breathable and the herringbone tread pattern underneath them them help maintain their grippiness everywhere I went. Another perk of taking my Vessies with me was that it didn't matter if they got dirty, because as soon as I got home, I was able to toss my weekends in the washer to restore them back to clean condition. So definitely a shoe for travel. But whether it's travel or you're getting back to school, because somehow it's that season already, you can get $25 off your own pair of Vessies when you click the link in the description and use code MORGAN. That's the link below and use code MORGAN. And thank you again to Vessie for sponsoring today's video. Number one, why not Cheesecake Fantasy? Now, I've never actually used a Keurig before. I've used an espresso several times and I've had decent luck with them, but this bad boy is officially mine now, so uh, kind of fun. All right, it's doing the, the classic spitting sound, and uh, in theory, I believe we do now have a cup of Cheesecake Fantasy. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Suddenly, I can smell a lot of things. It smells like cheesecake ice cream. It definitely doesn't taste like any cheesecake fantasy that I've ever had. It's not great. I don't think it really tastes like cheesecake and it doesn't really taste like coffee either. So I'm gonna give this like a two. It's not completely undrinkable. Like I definitely have had three sips of this and I'm not spit any of it back up, but it's uh, not great. So this is getting a two. Moving right along, we have maple sleigh. My sense of smell is notoriously bad, even pre-COVID. I think that's a blessing in this moment right now. I kind of respect that the machine hisses at you a little bit <laughs> before your coffee's done. Like that's a, that's a true a true coffee experience right there it's maple you know the maple and the coffee together are definitely a much nicer combination it's not a super strong maple flavor it's definitely much more in the nose overall that's not half bad i think there's a pretty decent balance you get you get a little bit of like a nutty like coffee note underneath there i would give that a four it's not wowing me but it's definitely very drinkable next up just to throw some fruit in the mix we have blueberry cobbler i was joking earlier that this coffee is just going to be a natural coffee there's no actual artificial flavors added 
What I'm finding is these all need second sips for evaluation. The blueberry in it is very, very tart. It's not like a sweet artificial blueberry. It's a pretty aggressive and almost like chemically in the mouth. This one, I'm giving a one. This is pretty undrinkable right here. Next up, mint chocolate. Now, what I think I am really most excited for here is gonna be the mystery flavor. And I might save this for when I'm just entirely losing it because this one was completely unidentified, both in the packaging and the product listing. So frankly, I didn't even know I was getting a mystery flavor. No idea what's in this, very excited to try it. I'm not usually a huge fan of mint in my coffee. It smells nice. Doesn't taste very nice. The chocolate is nice. The chocolate definitely does help, but it's very, very overpowering on the mint front, which is not usually my favorite. In addition, like it's very overpowering to the coffee as well. This is a solid two right here. Now, for one I've been dreading, cocoa mocha, which is in fact chocolate and coconut. I really, really enjoy the hissing. I feel like as a barista, I might, I might need to adopt that into, into my hospitality. Not a lot of coconut on the nose, which is a very good thing. I'm not a huge coconut person. No chocolate really in this, and honestly, very little coconut as well. So I was expecting something very offensive to my palate. This gets a three. This is middle of the ground. This is fine, I suppose. It gets points for its name. Coco Mocha is very fun to say. All right, up next is French toast, which if you look, it has this really cute little French toast man on it. It's very adorable. Points for packaging. French toast. That's not bad. It is a flavored coffee. So taking in that context, it's kind of nice. <laughs> I don't know if that's just me comparing it to everything I've had so far, but out of everything, I would not not drink this. I could see myself choosing to drink this. So I'll give this French toast the first five of today, frankly. It's more as coffee. It's time. S'mores. I'll be honest, this is the best so far. This is even better than the French toast. I am giving this a very solid five. I would absolutely drink some more of this. Next on the chopping block, red velvet cupcake. Now, is red velvet just chocolate dyed red? Well, I suppose in this case, since the coffee is gonna be the same color either way, we'll find out soon enough. Smells like nothing. Tastes like nothing. Two, in honor of the upcoming season, pumpkin pie. I can smell it already. Now, personally, I am very pro pumpkin spice. I think this is a lovely flavor in general, both in syrups and in lattes. Pretty heavy on the cinnamon, but in general, pretty okay. I'll give this a four. If I had to vote solely on name, this is my favorite. This is Sunday Nut Football, which is in fact vanilla peanut butter and chocolate fudge. Sunday Nut Football smells pretty good. Peanut butter and coffee's a little bit interesting. That's not a flavor I'm super used to. It's not bad. This is unfortunately pretty middle of the road. I'm giving this a three. We are one quarter of the way through. I think we're gonna take these next 10 pretty quickly. Birthday cake remix. How is it different? No one will know. The original birthday cake isn't here. Honestly, the cheesecake smelled more like birthday cake than the birthday cake does. It's chemicals, one. Vanilla dream or vanilla skyline? We'll go skyline first. Actually, just for just for comparison, we're gonna do all the vanilla flavors here at once. Well, in a row. There is not a not an ounce of vanilla in that. <laughs> not in the aroma or the flavor. So that gets a one. Perhaps vanilla dream will treat us a little bit better. Stomach feels the amount of coffee I've had. <laughs> There is vanilla in that one. It's present. It's decently balanced with the coffee. I'll give that one a four. Next up, vanilla swirl. Much less of a swirl of vanilla than there is a hint of vanilla. On a whole, I think this is the softest of all the coffees I've had today. Pretty pleasant drinking experience. I'm gonna give this one a five. Maisie, hi, friend, you must leave. Vanilla bean, this one's <laughs> it's pretty standard. It's okay. Compared to the last one, this is a significant downgrade, so I'm gonna give this a two. We're almost through the vanilla flavors, I promise. Next up, we have vanilla spice. One, our final vanilla of the day is black and white cookie, which a little bit of a divergent, but this is chocolate and vanilla flavored. I'm not sure if my if my tongue and my taste buds have just completely died at this point. That is unpleasant. One, I'm starting to really feel the amount of coffee I've had at this point, even though I'm just taking sips. At this point, I have taken one, two, three, four, five. I've had like 18 double sips of coffee. So uh, continuing on very quickly at this point, Coney Island Caramel. Caramel is lacking on the nose, but found in the cup. That's kind of nice. That's not gonna lie. That is a it's kind of a treat after all of those vanillas. Uh, I'm gonna give this a, a healthy four. Maple walnut. Now, if my brain is mathing correctly right now, which, which I don't think it is, I think we are after this one about to hit the halfway point. So as a reward for getting halfway through this video, we're gonna try the mystery coffee. 
Maple is just a, a frankly overpowering flavor. I'm not complaining. It smells very nice. It's just very overpowering. Solid three right there, right in the middle. It's good, not great. Okay, folks, it is time for our mystery coffee. Very excited about this. I have no concept <laughs> of whether I'll be able to identify what flavor it is, but either way, love a good mystery, so in we go. You know, I've had like kind of palate fatigue and palate stress before in cuppings, and that's a, a very real thing. I've never experienced it <laughs> with flavored coffees before, and it's kind of a, a whole new beast. Like, I think the, the tip of my tongue feels like a muscle that has been just so overworked at this point. All right, we've got 20 more to go after this. Keep going strong. I'm also starting to feel really like over caffeinated. The weird kind of like hollow jitteriness is hitting a little bit. So uh, we'll keep pushing through once more on this channel. And I do this so you don't have to. Okay, on the nose. Cotton candy is my first guess, if I'm being totally honest. It's a little fruity. It's definitely like artificial sugar. I mean, my gut says cotton candy. It doesn't taste like anything. That's the problem with these, is that all of this like artificialness is like on the nose. It just comes off in the aroma and then you sip the cup of coffee. Kind of just tastes like a really bad cup of coffee. There are a couple of these that had really prominent flavors. Like all the maples are pretty prominent. Some of the vanillas were pretty prominent and also like the mint flavors are really prominent. But for the most part, it's like all on the nose. <coughs> I think it's a one. I swallowed that down the wrong pipe. <laughs> okay, let me try that again. That was a little traumatic. I just, my gut tells me that this is cotton candy. That's gonna be my guess. It's a two. Okay, I can do some dessert. Uh, pecan pie is next. I get less and less excited for each one of these. Very much pecan pie on the nose, very accurate. In the cup is raw pecans? Not awesome, two. It's been a second since we've had peanut butter, peanut butter cup. The curing <laughs> just made a wheezing sound <laughs> that is very akin to how I feel right now. I don't know if it was supposed to make that sound. It seems like it's working fine, although I don't think it's meant to be used in this many consecutive brews at once. My memory retention just isn't great at this point. Okay, peanut butter cup. It still kind of smells like pecans. It's like you dipped a peanut in a cup of coffee. That's a little bit what it tastes like. So, mm, three. I didn't mean for this to turn into Morgan Roast's coffee paws, but that is a little bit what this has turned into. Next up, we have blueberry pie. I'm not super excited about the blueberry based on my past blueberry experience. I think this smells better, I'll be honest. My memory is a little bit shot at this point, but I think this, this one smells okay. This definitely tastes better. This is a this is a massive improvement on that. I think the blueberry one at the beginning was like the first one I gave a one to. This one, this one I feel very comfortable giving a solid four. This is a, a pretty decent drinking experience. And it actually does taste a little bit like blueberries in the cup. I think that's the, the real trick here is finding these artificially flavored coffees that both smell like the flavor and also taste like the flavor. And to follow it with something that I might find questionable, peppermint stick. Again, mint in coffee is just, like I've had mint things in coffee that I have enjoyed, but it is, it is a rare occasion. Okay, tasting. I'm not even gonna justify that one with a with a retaste. That is a that's a, a one, if not a if not the very first zero I found today. There's just something about the sharpness of peppermint that's just a it doesn't super work for me. And if anything, it needs like a softening agent of some sort. Like peppermint and white chocolate, I think that goes very nicely together. Rocky Road ice cream, which sounds lovely, and I kind of wish that I had Rocky Road ice cream and not uh, this right now. I'm forgetting what's in Rocky Road ice cream. Ice cream and chocolate and nuts. Graham, can you confirm? I have no idea. <laughs> no one knows what's in Rocky Road ice cream in this house. <laughs> Maybe peanuts. Marshmallows. Marshmallows and nuts. Is there chocolate? Not a lot of nuts or a marshmallow. So I'll give this one a, uh, I'll give this one a two. We got butter crunch, <laughs> which is a, another very fun one to say. I keep looking over and the pile has gotten noticeably smaller. And that is, that's so exciting at this point. This is giving me flashbacks to the Trader Joe's video I did where I tried every single, can't speak anymore. This is the problem, I get over caffeinated and the words don't come out correctly. This is giving me heavy flashbacks to the Trader Joe's coffee video where I went and tried every single Trader Joe's coffee product that they had. I'll level with you. Filming for that video took between three to four hours and that was just tasting coffee for that entire time. Now, thankfully, according to the clock, we are hopefully keeping this under the three hour mark, but uh, maybe not by too much. Butter crunch, everyone. 
It's not crunchy. It's also not buttery. You get the one. Now for all that ice cream and butter that we just had, we should add some fruit into the mix just to, just to stay balanced. So we next have wild raspberry. We had good luck on the last blueberry. Ooh, it smells like a raspberry tea. That's nice. I had this childhood tea. It was from like an herbal tea company and it was called raspberry zinger. I don't know if this is ringing a bell for anyone or if I'm totally making this up, but that's what this smells like right now. That's good. That is fully enjoyable. I'm giving this one a five. I would drink that again. Okay, which one of you get to be next? Now, you heard of Coco Mocha, but are you now ready for Choco Nut? <laughs> Choose your fighter. This one is also chocolate and coconut flavored coffee. I'm sorry, I can't get over Choco Nut. <laughs> this one as well has a very, very cute little photo of a happy little coconut filled up with coffee in it. That's kind of fun. Everyone tag yourself in the comments. Are you Choco Nut or Coco Mocha? They smell about the same. I'll be honest, I think this one is a vast improvement on the Coco Mocha. I would give this the healthy three a middle of the road, but definitely better. So uh, for this round, Choco Nut wins out. Okay, moving right along, we have a different brand, but this one is also pumpkin spice flavored. Will it be noticeably different? Who knows? Ooh, the smell on this one, very nice. Not a cinnamony, very, very cloves heavy. Honestly, cloves and nutmeg, like pretty evenly split between those two. Taste is a little bit burnt. This one's all right. I'm giving this one a four. It's nice just not being absolutely blasted with cinnamon for once. And speaking of cinnamon, we now have toasted cinnamon. No cinnamon on the nose per se, or in the mouth. I feel like cinnamon should be a pretty easy flavor to pair with coffee. Um, This is gonna be another two, dolce de leche. At this point, I keep bracing myself for that kind of nasty like aftertaste. It did not come with this one. Dolce de Leche is pretty tasty as a flavored coffee. So I'm giving this one a healthy four. Next up, oh fudge. <sighs> the smells in this house also right now are just, there are many. <laughs> there are many smells in this house. The problem I think with fudge is that fudge can be like a thousand different flavors. There are, there are many, many versions of fudge. And this one doesn't really taste like any of those. Two, the pile grows so small and it is so exciting. I think I'm gonna go with ice cream sandwich, as vague as that is. I've kind of forgotten what normal coffee tastes like at this point. One, that's foul. That is not any ice cream sandwich that I have ever had. To get it out of the way so I don't need to do it again, mint chocolate chip. Not to be confused with any of the others that we've had, because remember, we've had peppermint and then we had mint chocolate, but uh, we get the added chip this time, so that's pretty exciting. <sighs> Not good, it's a one. Hazelnut is next. I think at this point, with five left, I should choose which one is gonna be last. Now, just for your edification, since you, <laughs> You can't see what I'm holding. I have a Vienna mocha chunk, caramel swirl, butterscotch swirl, chocolate caramel, and finally, gingerbread man. Now, solely off of the names, I think I'm gonna save gingerbread man for last. I have, I'm not even gonna lie, I don't even have a gut feeling that this one's going to be good. I just have like a, a raw hope in me that this one's gonna be good. So, gingerbread man is last. We'll get the two swirls out of the way. This is the swirl. And then we have Vienna mocha chunk and chocolate caramel. As far as hazelnut flavored coffees go, that's not the worst one I've had. Now, that's not to say that this is great, but I have some, some rather traumatic experiences with hazelnut flavored coffee. So I'm gonna give this one an even middle of the road, a three. It's sippable, it's not delicious. There are other ones I preferred more. Butterscotch swirl. It smells very heavily of butterscotch. I can't tell if my palate's shot or if this doesn't taste like anything. My gut says this doesn't really taste like anything. It's not undrinkable, it gets a two. Okay, caramel swirl. Nothing ever goes wrong when you mix caramel and coffee together. That's my golden rule. Those two things, always delicious together. Do you guys see how small this pile is now? This is so incredibly exciting. When will I be free of this video? I ask myself. Caramel swirl does not smell like caramel. I just, I wish it was sweet. Like, like imparting the flavor of caramel without adding inherent sweetness to a coffee, I feel is just impossible. I'm gonna give this a one. Maybe I take my golden rule back. Maybe there are wrong ways that you can combine these two. I wonder what would happen if I TDS'd one of these things. I think that could be kind of fun. Chocolate caramel. Now I do have, on a recent trip to Arkansas, I was gifted a little tiny refractometer. I'm gonna go see if I can find it. Yes, I found it. Okay, while well, that measures, <laughs> let's taste this. According to this, it has a TDS of 0.76%. Do with that what you will with what this is. The chocolate is nice. Again, I'm not really sure how you convey the flavor of caramel without 
sweetness. Caramel's not really there. This is okay, it gets a three. Okay, second to last, Vienna Mocha Chunk. I really need to just run around right now or I need to take a nap and I'm not really sure which I need more at this moment. It's just, it's still chocolate and it's okay for what it is, but it's not as good as the last one. So it gets a two. Okay, I feel like we should have a little celebration right now in honor of, of making it through this. I think I, I deserve a little celebration right now for making it through this, but our very last pod, we have the gingerbread man, which is a brown sugar ginger flavored coffee. So in you go. I've never been more excited for a cup of coffee than I am right now. That's a lie. <laughs> In this exact moment, the excitement I feel, which also might be over caffeination, it's there, it's present. This is a little bit like what my behavior is like after like dialing in, especially for any sort of like competition or barista champ stuff, uh, because the amount of coffee you taste while dialing in is a lot. And usually it's a lot over the course of the day. So uh, this is what I'm like by the end of the day. If any of you were curious, I feel like I'm just talking really fast now. I feel like my sentences are coming out in a different cadence than they usually do. Give me the hiss, do the hiss. Yes, <laughs> my favorite part. I'm so excited that we're at the end of this. This is a truly, truly a good moment in my day. Maybe even the best moment of my day so far. So, uh, gingerbread man. If I was hoping that we were ending on a high note, I was sorely mistaken because that is undrinkable and gets a one. This was a whole event. <laughs> this was a, a very long filming of a video. I am highly over caffeinated. My tongue and palate are completely shot, but hopefully we've had kind of a nice day together. At least hopefully you did. I'm I'm not sure if I'm having a nice day anymore, but hopefully you are. So in the meantime, <laughs> I'm Morgan Drinks Coffee pretty much everywhere you will find me. I'm here on YouTube once a week plus short. Additionally, you can find me on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok almost every single day. <laughs> this is good. I just need to make it through this. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. I'm gonna take this, not this, and go sip some of this and take a nap. And I'll see you next time. Ideally far less caffeinated. Okay, goodbye everyone. <laughs>